Like, I've not seen any of these releases. It's early. Um, I barely slept. Thank you for the sub. We appreciate it. I thought I was going to have another two hours of sleep. And, uh... I woke up in bed and I saw a notification like kind of half a, half awake and then I was like, oh crap, I gotta do, I gotta make this video. So we got these cards right here. So we've got all the glorious cards. At least I know this video will be out first because it's like six, it's like five in the morning for Ty. But um, so we got these cards first. First up is Josh Smith, six nine seven foot wingspan. 96 B, 96 salaries, 92 three ball. His stats are immaculate. Like his stats are unbelievable. And this is like best stats in the game. One of the, some of the best stats in the game talk card. This is may as well be an invincible. I like, this might as well be an invincible. So let's see what I'm looking at with. Why? Why? Like. Is this this is a scrub jumper, isn't it? Is Duncan Diaron looks like a bomb jumper? There's no way that's a good jumper, right? Is Duncan Diaron chat? Is Duncan Diaron gonna be any good? Like, I really don't know if Duncan if Duncan Diaron's gonna be good. We're looking at like one of the best cards in the game. They give him tray fade. I would rather have normal on a 6'9 player. Apparently it's a decent spot-up jumper. Okay. That's not the worst thing in the world. It's better than his old jumper. It doesn't look good, but it's better than his old jumper. <coughs> then we've got Basketball John. 85 driving dunk on Basketball John. 80, 98 speed, 98 acceleration, 98 three ball, 99 every defense that wouldn't block. Which is kind of wild. Like, good defensive badges as well. Um, Stockton, Stockton, very quick. Steve Nash, size of Trey Escape. Okay, so he's got decent dribble six. Look, he's gonna, he's not going to be great because he's Stockton. But, like, if you are a John Stockton fan or you're someone who just wants to use Stockton anyway, um, he's not terrible. He's not terrible. Like, you can just about use Stockton. Brandon Ingram. Ah, they made him 6'7. Are there any versions of Brandon Ingram that are 6'9? No, even his all time card is 6'7. Yeah, I'm not 6'9, Brandon Ingram, this year. Remember the last time we had a 6'9, Brandon Ingram? Um, but 96 speed, 96 LR, 98 3 ball. Decent defense. Not great defensive badges, but it's fine. He's got all the ones, almost all of them on gold. Um, every shooting badge, bar space creator on half. Ingram, Ingram, a very quick. Steph Curry, Trey Young with the normal leaner. He's going to be okay. For people saying 7-3 wingspan, he's a twig, though. That's only the issue. But, uh... And we've got Larry Markin in here. 7-foot, seven 7-4 foot, seven wingspan. 90 speed, 90 acceleration. Really good defense. Good um, good stats. Okay, he's good. He doesn't have any flaws, really. Um, Larry, Larry, I'm very quick. Same dribble six as other card. Uh, I don't... Uh... Yeah... I don't. I don't mind this card. He's gonna be good. He's gonna be good. Um, he's not gonna be great though. Again, like he's um, he's seven foot tall, so he's still gonna be fine. But yeah, no, no card right. It, no card up to now has been like, like off the table. Great, like, like jumps off screen is great. OG I know be way better player building Brandon Ingram. Basically 99 every defensive stat. All the defensive badges. OG on very quick, which I think is a good release, not a great release. Mitchell, Trey Young, normal leaner. Now, he's a good cone. He's a really good cone. 
um, especially if you are a fan of OG Ananobi. He is going to be a very, very good cone. I don't think, again, no card right now has been exceptional. Oh, dear Lord, TK. There's no way, right? Does that count as a Sochik? Now we have Jeremy Lin. Come on, Jeremy Lin. Save us like it's insanity. Nice x three, but nice and speed, nice and acceleration. 95 driving dunk. All the defensive stats. Kuz Batum. I don't know if that's going to be a good release or not. Batum is a weird upper. But I don't know if that's just because of Batum base. I've never used any of these other guys. Diaz isn't bad. <laughs> so... Jeremy Lin, Trey Young. Uh, he's going to be okay. Like, he's going to be... If you want to just survive with Jeremy Lin, you probably can. But that's really it. Then we got Middleton, who's got perfect stats, perfect badges. Some people are saying Josh Smith's release is really good. Okay, if his release is really good, he's, he's elite then. He's absolutely elite. Um, great defense as well. Chris Middleton, Chris Middleton is not a great release, to be honest. T Mac Trey Young, though, are good sigs. Normal leaner is good. And uh, good defensive badges. Good card. Genuinely a good card. Then we got Blake, who's just a giant body. 99 every single stat. Blake, I'm very quick. Garland, Kobe, the normal leaner. He's literally just better, Jermaine O'Neal. I know he doesn't have the wingspan, but he has the wide player build. He's going to be better at Jermaine O'Neal. Which I think is a really, really good option. Like, that is a super, super nice option here. Uh, in Blake. And then the guy we all look and waiting for is AK-47. But instead of giving him 99 every defense, they have to give him 98. 95, 3, 95 speed, 95 acceleration. Which means he might get invincible. He's probably going to get invincible later in the year if he's 98 and all these. Um... O'Shea, Miles Bridges, which is an unbelievable release. Um, Trey Young, Trey Young, Trey Young. This is the best shooting guard in the game. This is the best shooting guard in the game, and it's highly unlikely any of the Invincibles are better than Andre Karolenko. Like, that is highly, highly, highly unlikely that any Invincibles are going to be better than AK. And it's highly unlikely any of these cards are going to be better. Like, Derek Coleman apparently is a god, but like... Again, highly unlikely. So then Larry Legend. Obviously, these Invincibles have got everything on 99. Um, so let me just check. Right here. Um, Eric Pascal, Kevin Love. That's not a bad release. Stevie Curry with the tray fade. Okay. Okay. That's a... Uh, that's a genuinely good good card. Someone just asked uh, OG or Ryan Test. Obviously, Ryan Test. Um, great dribbling, six foot nine. Eric Pascal, Kevin Love. Not bad. It's just he's a 6'9", nine, can't play the two, and AK is better than him. Then we got Kareem. Kareem, Kareem. Normal leaner, Mitchell size of Kobe Escape. I like these six, and I like the fact he isn't a basic leaner. Like, we're looking at a card that might be as good as Shaq. Like, as far as, cent as, far as power forwards go in the game, him, Shaq, and Manute might be top three. Like, he might be absolutely elite. What do you guys think? Kareem? I like him. We got MJ. 98 speed, 99, 99 speed, 99 acceleration, 99 three ball. KPJ, Jordan, Stevie Francis, Trey Young, Trey Fade. Look, he's just a hero, isn't he? Am I right in saying that? Like, no, he's got a new, he's got a new size up. He's got Stevie size up instead of a Larry size up. Jordan upper kind of kills it a little bit, but it's not like... The only reason he's not going to get his upper change, for anyone asking, oh, we need his upper change, he's getting an endgame card, and they're going to wait 
for the end game card to give him his. Every end game card is gonna have O'Shea or KPJ with Oscar Robertson over. Every single one. So Kareem still has a half decent release, to be honest. Um, and then yeah, they're gonna wait till end game. None of these guys are getting jumpers changed. And like Larry Bird. The reason why they didn't give Larry Bird O'Shea Brissett or KPJ is because they're waiting for Endgame Larry Bird to give him one of those releases. So the reason why they chose Eric Pascal, which is still a good release. Um, and then Jordan is going to be okay. And then we got Kobe Bryant. Kobe, Kobe, very quick. Kobe, Steph Curry, Kobe, or Devin Booker. It is basically this card here. There's no difference other than the normal leaner change to Booker leaner. And you can even argue that maybe Booker's better than... Them, uh, Kobe. So, or you know, your normal's better than Booker. Although I do like the fact he's Booker Leaner. I do like Booker Leaner. Um, I think the best card today, and it's not even close, is Andre Kurlenko. Andre Kurlenko is the best card today. The second best card is Kareem. Um, and then these guys just blend in with the lower ones. There are no good point guards. And like from what I've heard, Derek Coleman might be the third card best card today. I'm not even joking. Derek Holman might be the third. Is probably better than Larry Bird. So for who's the best in mental pickup? I have no idea. I need to look. I need to, I'll talk about that now. But AK is by far. By far the best of these cards.